Hi everyone, welcome back to Pro Tools 101 lessons here at educator.com. This is our sixth lesson, Pro Tools plugin window. So in this lesson, we will learn about the plugin windows in Pro Tools. We will focus mainly on effects plugins here, such as EQ, compressor, chorus, delay, and we will be focus, focusing on talking about all effects plugins come with your standard Pro Tools. We'll talk about certain settings of most effects uh, and how we adjust in your effects plugins also. And then we will view some virtual instrument plugins in the end. We won't be going into too deep, that's going to be in the later chapters, but we will give you the primary look of some of the coolest virtual instruments comes with your st standard Pro Tools system. Okay, since we're going to talk about the plugins, let's go ahead. Again, one channel. I have the same session is up, Clear Sky, that you heard a little bit. Um, we're going to actually bring up here a couple of plugin windows and we're going to talk about it. But I'd like to mention about different types of plugins on standard Pro Tools. Everything comes with the Pro Tools and everything that you can run pretty much calls RTS plugins. There's a different type of plugins and they are called TDM plugins. And TDM plugins are for HD users. Basically, if you have Pro Tools HD system, actually you would have the TDM plugins. The differences simply in between uh, everything we use, all types of plugins in Pro Tools, uh, standard version right here uh, they use the host power processing power from your computer directly TDMs uh, basically get the processing power from the cards that comes with the HD system and don't put as much uh, that's why we can actually we are able to run uh, TDM plugins with only HD systems other types of plugins which isn't supported with Pro Tools are audio units and VST plugins. However, you can search and find certain type of converters to be able to use those in Pro Tools. So everything's possible. Um, in my opinion, uh, I've been using Pro Tools for a long time and everything comes with Pro Tools. I currently use on most of my sessions and I really like them and I will go ahead and show some of these. I have the same session is up here. We're going to do certain changes right here and we're going to talk about the different types of plugins. So why don't we go and bring the EQ that you see. This is one of my plugins. First thing I want to talk about is a similar thing that we talked about earlier uh, on the when we were introducing the mixing the target button same thing applies here if i wanted to bring compressor now i have the compressor go back to eq how can i bring them up now we know we have the similar thing with the faders disable it by the target button here click on the compressor and even some other channel how about my maximizer and then you can actually place these in a different place on your screen if you wanted to adjust which can be the case you know you have your acoustic guitar is up, up on here two plugins right and we can go do certain changes on the eq of that guitar and we would correspondingly maybe wanted to check with uh, our maximizer which was which is a master fader okay let's get rid of that um so making the uh target button disable is is the key to bring up more windows so that's the logic behind that so once we bring up an eq plugin right here let's say let's talk about this a little bit uh, all the plugins have a very similar setup on pro tools and the way we see them we have the track first of all right here it shows me this is my acoustic guitar. You can always go ahead and choose a different track right there. But that's how I can also get there without choosing another track in my mix window. Another thing we can talk about it here, where this is inserted. This is the insert A. That's how we know. 
if I were to choose my compressor for instance let's do this again you will see here is the B but it's got actually maybe it will be cool to keep them both so you we will see the similarities so track over here the track very similar this is my A this is my B insert if I choose a reverb on the C it's gonna be C the third spot available and if I run out of them you know I can bring F to J insert here as we spoke before we can bring the F to J if we go over five plugins because sometimes working with the plugins a lot of fun change the uh, recorded audio sound much much uh, better as long as we we know what we're doing of course um, over here uh, we have a EQ plugin shows us what we choose same thing we do our on our insert window we can do it within the plugin too which is a cool thing and